Good morning, I am Nicolas and you are watching The Hot Topic. Today's hot topic is the whipping of the Asian markets. Here's what happened. The Chinese Shanghai Composite Index fell on Friday by a massive 5.8% and Hong Kong's Hang Seng decreased by 1.9%. Meanwhile, in Japan, the Nikkei fell only 0.3% and then the domino effect took place and other Asian markets began to tumble. Australia's S&P ASX 200 took losses of 0.2%, falling to 5,202 points, and South Korea's COSI also fell to 2,028 points. So what's going on in Asia? Industrial profits from Chinese firms decreased by 4.6% in October, compared to 12 months earlier, and October core consumer price index decreased by 0.1% on a year-to-year -year basis. The weak CPI data followed Japan's downwards inflationary trend, as there were also declines for August and September. On the other hand, data released about the Japanese unemployment rate for October showed a decrease to 3.1% compared to last month's 3.4%. So what are we seeing? Last week's data out of China provide further evidence that the Chinese industry is contracting, possibly a result of sluggish demand by the overseas markets. And the weak Japanese CPI might lead to the Bank of Japan extending its monetary stimulus. What's coming up? It is a very busy week of economic announcements, with three central banks meetings, Australia on Tuesday, Canada on Wednesday, and the ECB on Thursday. Traders will be focusing on EU inflation report on Wednesday and US NFP on Friday. On top of all of this, we have Fed Chairwoman Janet Yellen speaking on Thursday and the OPEC meeting on Friday. Global markets even more entwined than ever. So with all these announcements, we should be seeing a lot of action across all regions. What do you think is going to be the big movers and shakers this week? Be sure to comment below. I'm Nicolas and you have been watching The Hot Topic.